b dy upon dx is equals to 0. Let this equation as 1. Now again differentiate with respect to x. Derivative of x is 1, a is 0. First function, derivative of second plus second function, derivative of y and derivative of b is 0. Clear? 1 plus y minus b d square y upon dx square plus dy upon dx square is equals to 0. So we get y minus b d square y upon dx square minus 1 plus dy upon dx whole square. From here we get the value of second derivative as minus 1 plus dy upon dx whole square upon y minus b. Let this equation as equation number 2. From equation number 1 we have y minus b dy upon dx is equals to minus x minus a or we can say that dy upon dx minus x upon a y minus b. In the second order derivative we have the term 1 plus dy upon dx whole square. So find the value of this term 1 plus dy upon dx ki value put kari amne whole square. So what we get? 1 plus x minus a whole square y minus b whole square. Clear? Take the LCM here. y minus b whole square x minus a whole square y minus b whole square. x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square it is given equal to c square. We have given that term. So this is equals to c square upon y minus b whole square. Now we want this term power 3 by 2. So take power 3 by 2 on both sides. Here we have left with c cube upon y minus b cube. Here I am my pass. c cube upon y minus b cube. Now second order derivative has this value. So put this value here, 1 plus dy upon dx whole square key. So what we get? d square y upon dx square is equals to minus c cube upon y minus b whole cube into y minus b. c cube y minus b whole cube upon y minus b. Independent of 
A and B. Now the next one. Derivative of dx upon dt is 1 upon 280. 
So we get minus 1 upon 2a t cube. Now the next one is if x is equals to a cos cube theta, y is equals to a sin cube theta, find d square y upon dx square. Also find its value when theta is equals to pi upon 6. Differentiate x and y with respect to theta. dx upon d theta. Derivative of cos cube 3 cos square. After that derivative of cos is minus sin theta. Y. Derivative of sin cube 3 sin square. Derivative of sin is cos. Now we want to find dy upon dx. dy upon d theta into d theta by dx. dy upon d theta is 3a sin square theta cos theta 1 upon minus 3a sin theta cos square theta. 1 sin we cancel, 1 cos we cancel and 3a we cancel. So sin upon cos. Sin upon cos is equals to tan of theta. Now again differentiate with respect to x now. Derivative of dy upon dx is d square y upon dx square. Derivative of tan is x square. Derivative of theta with respect to x. So what is the value of d theta by dx? Minus 1 upon 3a sin theta cos square theta. Is it clear? This is the value. So we can write it as 1 upon cos square is sec square. Minus will get cancelled. Sec 4 theta upon 3a sin theta. Now we want to find the second order derivative when theta is pi by 6. So sec pi by 6 power 4 3a sin pi by 6. Sec pi by 6 has value 2 by root 3. Cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 upon 3a. Sin pi by 6 has value 1 by 2. So what we get? Now the next one. If x is equals to a sin t, y is equals to a cos of t plus log tan t by 2, find d square y upon dx square. Differentiate with respect to t. dx by dt. Derivative of sin is cos. Now dy upon dt. Derivative of cos is minus sin. Derivative of log is 1 upon log of x is 1 upon x. Here we have tan. So derivative of tan is x square. Derivative of t by 2 is 1 by 2. Now solve this value. A minus sin t. Tan as sin upon cos. So cos t by 2. Sin t by 2. Sec square 1 upon cos square into 1 by 2. 1 cos will get cancelled. So minus sin t plus 1 upon 2 sin t by 2 cos t by 2. 2 sin x cos x is equal to sin 2x. Sin 2 into t by 2 that is sin t. Take the LCM sin minus sin square t plus 1. 1 minus sin square t is cos square t. So this is the value of dy upon dt. Now we want to find 
a cos square t upon sin t dt upon dx is 1 upon a cos t. Cos upon sin is cot of t. So we get dy upon dx is equals to cot of t. Now differentiate with respect to x. d square y upon dx square. Derivative of cot is minus cos x square. So minus cos x square t into derivative of t with respect to x. So minus cos x square t dx upon dt. So 1 upon a cos t. So minus cos x square t upon a cos of t. This is the value of d square y upon dx square. We can also write cos x square as 1 upon sin square. So minus 1 upon a sin square t cos t. Now the next one. minus 